Uh, as it relates to last session, and you weren't sitting in this chair last session, we cut five point, the legislature cut $5.4 billion from our educational system in the state of Texas. Have you been there long enough to make a determination as to what the impact that has been on our education system in the state of Texas? Senator, I've been there four and a half months. Right. And so let me give you an idea of what, what I'm saying. I'm saying, quite frankly, that teachers are teaching and youngsters are learning. When we look at the results of our STAR exam, we're seeing, well, coming out of talks and into, into STAR, we're not seeing dramatic um, numbers of, of schools that are becoming academically unacceptable or losing their accreditation. And so, quite frankly, I think school, school districts are doing their part and making progress with the dollars that they had. And so that's the way you would measure it, based on whether or not you would measure based on the results of the accountability system? In, in large part, yes, because we as a state made a, we as a state and you as a body have made a determination, a policy determination, that there's a body of knowledge that we want every youngster to know by the time that he or she graduates, and that is represented in STAR, and it's represented obviously in our testing from 3 through 8 as well as what we're doing in 912. Okay. Some data that I've seen has, has been in terms of employment uh, in the educational profession. I think the, some data I saw was about 24,000 individuals lost jobs in the educational profession by 11,000 lost the teachers. In terms of being able to, imp uh, to really do an assessment of the, five, the loss of 5.4 four billion dollars in our system about how many years do you need do you think we need to look at accountability data to make a determination as to whether or not that has had an impact well, Senator, right now if you're talking about just in star or from toss talks to star uh, well I, I guess it's, 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 it's broader than that uh, what I'm just, we, last session we changed the law and 5.4 billion regardless of where it comes from whether it was federal money or otherwise it was, it was money in the educational system and obviously we had a debate as to whether or not that would impact, negatively impact uh, educational opportunities for students in the state of Texas. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how, how, do you, how do we measure that as a commissioner of education? And you may not be able to answer questions today, and that's fine. But I want to, from your vantage point and your staff, what should, we, what should we be looking at to determine whether or not that had a significant impact on uh, education in the state of Texas? And of what period should we, be, should we uh, look at that? As relates to STAR, we're redesigning the accountability system. We're moving from that single indicator to, to an index. In that index, one of the indices is, are these youngsters college and career ready? Another one of the indices is, to what extent are we closing the racial achievement gap without bringing the top down? The third part of it, is there student progress? And so, and the, and the fourth one is obviously the way we do it today. So, if you're asking me what would be the matrix, I think it's going to be a combination of, of that index. It's that index. Okay, so, and, and then we look at that over an extended period of time. And what time period should we look at that? Well, we are now having conversations with educators and, and stakeholders right now about that very question. And I would like to be able to wait until we get through the informal and the public comment period to be able to report back to you what the decision is that, that we, the agency, has made. That's, that's actually a question that we're looking at. 